Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders 2. In the last episode, we got started building our own new deity, but not without the help of our many awesome citizens. Now though, we are still moving forward with Sowing the Seeds of Success Part 3. We need to move all the way over to the Fat Rat area. Where was it, was it this one? Fat Rat Rise, yep. And we're going all the way over here to find the flower seeds, which should help the deity grow even more powerful. So that's gonna be awesome. And yeah, we might even be able to talk to these guys a little bit and find out what's going on. Squeak, what's that human? You want to know how to get to the to the chromatic case? One of them's just this way. Go east of here and then go east some more. Squeak, uh, go through the wood and over the sandy hill and you'll hit some chalk cliffs. Climb right up to the top and you should be able to spot it out in the offing. You'll need to fly the rest of the way. I hope you have a windbreaker or you're in for a long swim. Squeak. If you do manage to get there, give my regards to the elder. Alrighty, what about everybody else? What brings you humans scurrying all the way out here then? Seeking out the Navaglobe, are you? Well, here it is, the beautiful, yeah, we know about the Navaglobe. Okay, so apparently he was the only one with actual proper info, was the other guy. So that's good, we know the head east over this way. This is actually all new stuff for us, I think. I don't know if we've really gone this way too much, so this will be interesting. Lots of trees and stuff, but more than that, we got like bats we can fight, which should be quite easy to take down. Yeah, two hits and they're done. Um, we're already max level though, so not really too interested in beating up too many monsters that I don't have to, except for if they drop good materials, which these little bats don't really. Uh, but they're, just, they're in the way, I might as well get rid of them. Just like that, it's super easy. Oh, there's a big bat. I don't know if we've taken on the big bat yet. I do want to take on every type of enemy because there is a Builderpedia. Oh gosh, and my battery's low. It's putting my controller to sleep even. <laughs> That's not good, uh, but oh, here's this chalk stuff. I don't know if we have any of this. We might have a little bit actually. This is, uh, as you can see, chalk. Okay, I thought it had a special name. Anyways, uh, yeah, not too much more beyond that's going on. We have like some sand. Oh gosh, oh, is that where we're running out of energy? Oh, I'm, I'm hungry. Oh, I didn't even realize. Let's eat some tomatoes. Eat, there we go. That's at least what I have for right now. We can go home and get more stuff soon. What's in this cave? I guess maybe this could be the way we're supposed to go. I can get some wood from this. I might as well snag it. Oh, there's some normal dirt around here too. An uncommon sight. That might mean there's something of interest around here. But what about this? Can't quite break that. Hmm. All right, there's there's more dirt here. But is it anything of interest or is it just dirt? Because I can get this anywhere if I use the grass seed, so I don't really need to go to my way too much for this. Okay, well there's not really too much of interest back here then, unless you're looking for the dirt. Hmm. All right, well for right now I can head up here. Maybe this is what I was just trying to lead me to. And ooh, a chest, here we go. This is what I'm talking about, We're trying to find collectibles. It has a sword. Is it any better than what I currently have? Stone sword? I don't know. Uh, does it say any kind of damage? Yeah, how am I supposed to know? <laughs> I've never really thought about it too much. Stone sword just doesn't say anything. I think we can already make a stone sword. That was sort of a, I guess maybe at some point we could have come here and gotten that, maybe one was more potentially useful. Just trying to find a way up. Can I destroy, oh, I can destroy this stuff. I don't know why, I thought I couldn't. I guess I can't destroy these blocks, right? No, I can destroy these as well. Yep, that's just more chalk. Another one of these guys. Because I think our current barbed sword is a lot more powerful. That's it. And, may the white flowers of the covenant bring peace to the land. A peace that lies on the far horizon. All right, let's go ahead and see it. Whoop, no wait, that's the wrong button. Da, da, ooh, ooh, be careful. All right, let's get a running start. Jump and whoa, boy, here we go. Let's hope we can make it. It looks like we can. We don't descend very much at all. Like, we get a lot of hang time with this. So that's pretty cool. And there's a fat rat. Is he the elder? This is fast right to land. The thieves will be nibbled. Squeak, squeak. Well, if it isn't a human, how did you get all the way over here? I mean, you saw me coming. Hold on. A human? Here? Elder, squeak, elder, squeak! It's a human, a human has arrived! Head on in, human. The elder will want to speak with you, squeak. All right. Hurry up, human, don't keep the elder waiting. He's just over the rise, squeak, you can't miss him. Can I not? 
No, no, yeah, you really can't miss him. Hello. Well met, human. You're a builder, aren't you? You certainly smell like one. This can only mean one thing. It's just time for me to uphold our part of the covenant. A builder came here long ago, squeak. He built the deity and imbued it with great power by means of three types of flowers. When the children of Hargon corrupted the tree, the elders of the fat rats, humans and bodkins, podkin archers, gathered the dis to discuss what would be done. We all agree that the seeds of those flowers must be kept safe. Until such a time, bu a builder returned to the island and rebuilt the deity. And so we entered into a covenant, the humans, fat rats, and bodkin archers, to keep these seeds safe and pass them on to the next builder. You really are a big rat. One of the three sets of sacred seeds lies in the chest behind me. Take them, Builder. They're yours now, Squeak. All right, sure. Um, okay, calm down there, Malroth. Uh, the humans fat and fat rats and bodkin archers entered into a covenant that we might pass on sacred seeds to you, the new Builder. On se one set of these seeds lies in the chest behind me. Take them, okay, I thought he was gonna say something new. Anyways, let's finally meet you, Squeak. And... You're not at all like I thought you'd be, you squeak. I hope I'm cooler. Oh, can I take these doors as well? They're real nice. Okay, so here it is. I need to actually, hold on, put that away. And we get ourselves the Milk Blossom Seed. Very cool. Are those flower seeds we're looking for? Let's sell the big fat rat where we found them and get back to the village. Hold on one second. Nice, I'm taking that, I'm sorry. They're just cell doors, but they seem pretty cool. Alrighty then, and I got the clover carving. Hey, buddy. Oh gosh, super up close. The children of Hargon came, destroyed the deity, and turned the soil into slime. So the leaders of the fat rats, the bodkins, and the humans got together to decide what to do about it. They pledged to each protect the seeds of the, I thought we already heard this, and await the day the builder would turn to save us all, and we've been waiting for you to come ever since. Go, builder, restore the deity, and bring life, uh, and life back to the island, squeak. Alrighty, well thank you. Um, so yeah, there's that done. Uh, and I don't see anything else. I wonder if it was possible to take it before even talking to him. That'd be interesting. <laughs> Is there anything of interest around here, though? I'm just trying to sort of search around really quick before we skedaddle. Um, but it isn't looking like it. No, there's definitely nothing up here. Okay. And nothing on this part of the island. It looks like it's just sort of uh, some low tide area. Okay, just making sure before we skedaddle, like I said before. All right, well that turned out pretty well. We don't need to really glide out of here. We can just warp home. Just like that. Okie doke. Oh, wait, no, wrong button. Uh, There we go. Warp to Furrowfield Farm with our newfound stuff. It is a big seed or a small seed. I don't know what kind of seed it is. But I thought we would need more than one of the flowers, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay, so I have to plant them, but where exactly? Oh gosh, everybody's waiting in line for bath. Different music? That's cool. Oh, there you are. Hey, buddy. Um, amazing. Welcome back, Zebra. Did you find out how to power the Deidre, did you? Hang on. Are these lay flower seeds you got there? What did you say? Oh wait, that was Rosie. What did you say? Zebra, did you bring back some flower seeds from the Chromatic K? What else did you find there? The Elder of the Fat Rats was watching over them? Then the flowers really must be the secret to finding the Dia Tree with power. All this talk of Covenant has come as a bit of a shock, though. I never imagined the humans and the Fat Rats and the Bodkin Archers would all have all joined forces together like that. But it's a good thing they did, because now we can rebuild the deity, tree, as big and strong as ever before. As soon as the blueprint's built, you should plant those milk blossom seeds and give our new deity tree a bit of a boost. Well, it is built, so we'd better get this thing finished, hadn't we? Don't worry, you can leave most of the building to us. When we're done, all you need to do is place that piece of heartwood in the right place, and the blueprint will be complete. We already did it. We did that last episode. You're an episode behind. Uh. Okay, everybody, I guess, gave up on the idea of going to the bathroom. So what exactly do I have to do when it comes to this blueprint? I mean, it doesn't even tell me. So where do I plant it? I'm a little confused. Uh, I don't wanna just like plant it anywhere. Oh, I can talk to you. Here we go, hey. Now that you've 
uh, place at, oh gosh, this is a weird angle. Uh, place at Harwood Zebra. Our first blueprint's good and finished. Yippee, now we just need to ha or have to plant some milk blossom seeds and give the D-Tree some real flower power. Ooh, now that'll be something to look forward to. We weeklies have a heck of a long, live a heck of a long time, but even so, I had never seen some flowers before. Hmm, but where should we put them? That's what I've been asking. I know, let's plant them around the heartwood. Uh, that zebra place. Go on, zebra, plant four milk blossom seeds in the earth around the heartwood. Earth around the, there was earth around the heartwood? Oh, well, what do you know, there was. Okay, so plant that there. That's one, two, three, and four. So we we're gonna have six left over. Isn't that cool? Wow, and they just instantly grow. Guess that's the power of the heartwood. Hey, Lo. How are you? Oh, I'm gonna take that, thank you. Amazing! Thank you, Billy and my handsome. I had never seen pretty little flowers like them before. Oh my goodness, flowers are so small, <laughs> but so beautiful. Are you really crying over a couple of poxy flowers? There must be something seriously wrong with you. But this is the first time we've ever seen anything like them. I'm just so happy. All right, well, everybody's happy. Whoa. Look at that. Very sparkly. It looks like they actually started tilling the, 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 the little land over there, luckily. W what was that light? It looked like it came from the flowers. You know what I reckon was them charging up the deed tree with all that power they were supposed to give it. I can hardly believe, oh, I can hardly believe we have built this ourselves. It wasn't so long ago that we were fervent followers of the children of Argon. But now we're brilliant builders and I shall be the much admired mayor of our community of construction, wah ha 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 Huh? Does anyone else feel that? There's a wave of energy rising up towards us. Oh no, not again. Who are they gonna, what are they gonna do this time? Is he back? No, I sure hope not. Well no, this is, maybe it's a rise of good energy. Whoa, look at that, it turned all the soil better. Oh, that's cool. So I probably shouldn't bother replacing it myself if the game is gonna do it for me. OMG, did you guys see that? That wave of light totally lit. Did you do that, Bonanzo? Well, I, I didn't do it deliberately, but perhaps I have powers beyond my own reckoning. <laughs> you lot really are a bunch of idiots. That was a flower charging up the deity. And now it's gone, got some sort of aura around it. <laughs> That's wild. We should totally keep building this thing and just see how cray it can get. Okay, you are so silly. Anyways, complete. Very cool. Uh, all right, Zebra. That's the first stage finished, but we're not done yet. It's time for you to draw another blueprint. We're starting to get the hang of this blueprint building business now, so make it as big as you like. Oh, really? Well, let's see what we can cook up. Can't believe how quickly we're getting through this whole deity building thing. Oh man. Oh gosh, I hope this doesn't intersect with my farms. Anyways, there it is. Zebra draws out a deity level two blueprint. Oh man, it's gonna be 1,000. Okay, well this also includes what we've already built. Yeah, 395 out of 1,084. So this is like roughly 600 blocks. All right, that's gonna be a lot of work. Everybody, do it for me. Goodness gracious me. What a wonderful blueprint you've drawn for us, Zebra. Orf, orf, orf. Hi, Chip. Let's get building, everyone. The blueprint will be easy peasy for a wicked strong squad like us. There are still plenty of materials left in the chest, so we haven't anything to worry about on that front. We can get straight to work. You can leave the building work in our capable hands, Zebra. I'm sure there are a lot, a lot of other things that need to be doing that only you can do. If we give it our all, we shall have Zebra's blueprint finished before we know it. Oh, this is clean. Come on, everybody, let's get started. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Well, there's that done. They're gonna start building. I'm gonna collect their hearts that they got over this way. It is nighttime, though, so we probably wanna go and hit the hay really quickly. Uh, but before we do, I'm just trying to grab all of these. Excellent. Everybody's working so hard, I'm so proud of them. But it's gonna take them a hot minute, so I'm not even gonna worry about it for right now. It's gonna take a snooze. Everybody else seems to be doing the same thing, so, or at least some people are. Come on, everybody. Now they're gonna build through the night. Well, look at them. Hard workers. Okay. Good morning. No, they all went to sleep. Okay. But they're still probably pretty late at, late at night. Oh, no. Spoil spores. 
Let's start dealing with this then. Why did they plant wheat here? They weren't supposed to do that. Oh, I mean, I guess that was what was already here. Okay, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna look around for really quickly is wherever these spoil spores might be. And do it as quickly as I can because you never know when they might explode. There's one over this way. Let's deal with that one. I have the mud over here. Okay, the music keeps changing because I keep running around. There we go. And then get that there. <laughs> and then it cuts off again. There we go. Boom, give me the seeds. This guy should probably just leave me alone. I'm very dangerous, you know. Uh, let's open this door and get inside of here. I don't see too much else around. Oh, there's one over there. And luckily they haven't landed on the tree whatsoever. That's good to see. I don't see any over this way. I don't know why sometimes the camera sort of zooms out and sometimes it doesn't. Like I can't really control that for whatever reason. I don't see any over this way. But I do see this one, so. Oh, maybe there's, no. Okay, well that at least resets it. Um, so while they're building, oh gosh, it's getting bigger. Yeah, you only have a limited time to get rid of these things. So while that's happening, I'm just gonna run back and get this one. But we got all the ones at the farm because there just weren't many. I think somebody's shooting at us. You bet they are. Anything else around? There's one over this way. Just trying to get these while I have the chance so that I can maybe, just maybe. Um, oh, wrong thing. Um, place, got it. Just get some extra seeds out of it, the leaves. We get a pumpkin seed there. And where was this stuff? Right over this way. Am I out of running energy? Oh, I'm all out of hunger again. How do I keep forgetting this stuff? Okay, let's go and get ourselves some food so that we can actually run around. But they are getting very much through it. They're 60% through already. I'm going the wrong way for food. I need to get up this way. I could take some of that, but I'll leave it be for now. Open this up. And I also need to, hold on. I don't know what that was. I just, oh, one of the things must have exploded. I hope it wasn't near our base at all. Um, I do see some, uh, there we go. Put away, put away one of them. I'll have these four. That should fill me up quite a lot. There we go, we're at 80% now. See, where did that explode at? That spoil spore. Wait, seriously? Oh, it must have been hiding or something. Oh no, I'm gonna have to work on that soon. That stinks, I didn't even see it. I'm such a dingus. Anyways. I don't know, I guess I'll work on it soon, but they just sort of pop up so often, I feel like I just wanna work on the quest as well. This new blueprint of yours is a work of art. I'd never be able to draw something like this, not only because I ain't got no hands to hold a pencil in, I know that feeling. You needn't worry about the business of constructing it, my boy, we can handle all that ourselves. Your skills are better utilized every, or elsewhere. Speaking of which, Zeeper, do you think you could try and track down the other three types of flowers? Uh. I'm a good thinking, Rosie. If it's another chromatic K you're you, you're after, I can tell you where you where to find it. First off, you'll be wanting to warp to the old tomato farm where that alpha orc lives. Head east of the bog, and you'll see a little spit of land in front of you. From there, you can fly over to the island and hopefully find more seeds. If you need more some extra directions, have a word with the orc. He's and he'll, uh, he's a helpful so and so, so he is. All right, go on then, Zebra. Use your windbreaker to fly to that island and find us some more flower seeds. All righty, well, new destination for us to go. I guess I can start working on this now. I do have some dirt I can replace it with. I'm just really bummed because I didn't see it at all, you know? And it just like instantly destroyed these crops, so that's never good. Um, if I could collect some of this so that I can replace it, that'd be great. Because I guess some in the explosion zone actually ended up taking damage, but not all of it. Okay, well, I'll do what I can with all this. It just, it's not a really good situation that it all got broken. I'm, I'm definitely bummed. Okay, going over here and destroying all this now. I mean, I, I know that we could also make the one dude, our weekly friend, do it, but I don't know if that actually like works properly. Because that just might just destroy more stuff, so like, I just don't want to do that if I don't have to. 
Like, this works just fine as well. So, I don't know. Didn't want to do that. There we go. Almost done with this patch. Maybe I'll just work on this patch. I'll work on the other one later. And we got plenty of wheat and plenty of cabbage in general. I mean, of course, our citizens are eating every day, though. So, like, eventually, we would run out if I don't tend to it. But for right now, we have this going on. Okay, so there's that. This stuff is gonna be harvested as well. Okay, so what's going on with this tomato farm thing? We gotta go over here, right? Yeah, and then yeah, we gotta go over there. I think I've actually, once again, saw this off in the distance at some point when I was adventuring around for more seeds uh, a couple of episodes ago, so we should know mostly where we're headed. All right, so we're gonna head out this way. I'm gonna just sort of ignore as much stuff as I possibly can for right now. I mean, I guess these guys might be worth focusing on because they do drop uh, those grass seeds that can be ever so helpful. I might need more of those moving forward. There we go, three more of these guys and no seeds from them. Oh well, we got two seeds from the other two, so that's fine. See, this is where there's more bad boons, yada, yada, yada. I'm gonna ignore some of these guys. I know he fought that guy last time. I don't know if I want to go through all the effort again. It's sort of, it's a little repetitive. So I might just ignore him. If he ignores us, that is. Leave us alone, what do we do to you? Fine, you want to fight? Oh gosh, I don't want to, I really don't. Come on. I might just swing at him and like, okay, maybe I should care about how much damage I take because he stacks up with him quite fast. Ow, I'm already down to half health if I do it that way. Like if I just don't care and just be super reckless. I'm not quite that powerful yet. Hopefully we really do get past level 10. Like, that'd be really lame if this is really our max level for the rest of the game. Um, I do need food. Uh, all I have really is cabbage. I'm gonna eat the cabbage. Just to get my health up a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, let him do his slice and dicing. Sure, why not? I know he's about to do his jump and slam. I saw it a mile away. And then you're about to do more jabbing or slamming or something. Come on, we can get him, we can get him, we can get him, he's almost done. There it is, he didn't even get to finish the slam. Awesome, we get 10 more tomato seeds there, it looks like, so that's always good to see. And I see this sign, let's read this and see what it has to say. No, I do see some stuff over there already, what is that? I don't know, like there's some stuff on the, the ground, it looks like, or maybe they're just plants. May the yellow flowers of the covenant bring joy to the land, a joy that lies in the far horizon. All right, well, let's get it. Whoop, whoop, yeah, and we're moving. Move pretty quick. Yeah, I guess there's just different of those uh, blue flowers. There are some rocks up there. I thought I saw something. What about these like vine-like things? They just give me rope. Okay, that's fine. It's cord, actually. Don't know what the difference, if there's a difference between cord and rope. Oh, there's another sign. Uh, some Bodkin's boyers appear. Hold on, I wanted to read the sign. Uh, Bonwell Swamp, no swimming. Okay. Are they gonna attack me? Are these the evil kind, I guess? So I guess we have to fight these guys, defeat the enemy. There's eight of them in total. Come on, get them. That's it, ooh, good job. <laughs> They're quite easy. Well, there's one. And what's nice is that I can sort of run and jump and glide but I was also trying to take a look around. Lots of softwood. Hmm. Not really too much to find or collect or anything. Okay, whoa, that's not what I wanted. That's literally the opposite of what I wanted, actually. I'm gonna glide like that. I like how Maroth will teleport to us when he does that. Yeah, get across to here. I see this guy. Come on now, get him. And it's like a couple of easy hits. So we just gotta get up to him and fight him. I see you. See you, buddy. I don't even need Malroth's health. Help, <laughs> or his health. Both of those are use useful usually. Oh, I got paralyzed a little bit. I don't know where Malroth is right now, actually. Buddy, is he fighting one of the other guys? Well, now he's with me. <laughs> That's nice. Come on, ow. Come on, you're going over here. Five out of eight, now six. So there's two more than to take out. One over that way, and one somewhere else. Oh no, oh don't go in the water, apparently it's bottomless. I don't wanna deal with that. Come on now. That's it, that's it, okay, fight him, fight him. Slice and dice him. That's it, where's the last guy at? It's apparently over there, oh I see him, I see him. No, oh, I pressed the wrong button again, I pressed the slice button. 
Not what I wanted. Okay, you up there, you're going down. Come on. <laughs> Lots of jumping around. Go, go, go. Oh, come on. Get out of here right now. Thank you. Uh, the Bodkin boys were defeated. Maybe I can go and talk to you now? Well, that was something. All right, looks like that was the last of them. I don't know why they were attacking one of, one of their own, though. Thank you, humans, my life I owe you. Rewarded your bravery will be. Come here, yes, yes, come quickly. All right, let's glide over. Just like that, ah! Ooh, that does hurt a little bit. I gotta be careful. Let's eat some food. Not you belong to the Bodkins, the island does. Thank you, humans, defeat the Bodkin boyers, you did. Save me, you did. Their pallid purple faces, did you see? Sick the Bodkin boyers are, completely enraptured by the children of Hargon. Tried to steal the seeds of the covenant they did. Lucky you arrived in time, it was. Speaking of which, what brings you to this island, humans? A builder, you say? Building the new deity, you say? Then take the daffo daisy seeds in the chest, you must. Seeds of the covenant, they are. Complete your new deity, you must. Do so and rejoice. Our ancestors will. Please, the seeds, the, take them. Alrighty, well, let's grab these in. Uh, I know, that's what I was trying to do. <laughs> uh, see, let's grab this. It is a yellow uh, daffo daisy seed. Very cool. Okay, so hey look, we found some more flower seeds like Rosie asked us to. Let's th thank this little green guy and get back to the farm. Mmm, terrible the children of Argon are. Saw the island was teeming with power of creation they did destroy the deity they did. And not only that, turned the blessed deity into a spoil spore spreading source of death and disease they did. And to add insult to injury, blame it all on the builder they did, mmm. Be so easily tricked, I did not think the humans would. Ah, that we entered in an alliance with such credulous creatures to think. What a terrible, terrible tragedy. Yikes, okay. Well, luckily, we now know what we've, we we can do to fix the whole situation. Uh, let's go ahead and go back to Furrowfield Farm. We got ourselves the seeds. Hopefully they're done building the second part of the tree. I'm really glad they can build it and I don't have to worry about it very much, but uh, Yep, they're still working on it. They're at 99% though, they're almost done. You guys can do it, I believe in you. So where is the person I'm supposed to cash this into? Yep, you over here, thank you. Uh, you've gone and found some yellow flower seeds for us, haven't you? They look so lovely, I can't wait to see them in full bloom. If only Pastor Al could have been here to see him. But that's all the more reason to finish the deity tree. It's what he would have wanted. Speaking of Pastor Al, I've been thinking more about what he said about how we could give more power to the deity. I get the feeling that planting these flowers won't be quite enough to get it back to the full strength. We have to do something else too. He said that we needed to Im imbue it with purified power of everything that blooms and bears fruit. And I'm not exactly sure how we'd go about doing that. But I'll find out, and as soon as I do, you'll be the first to know. You might have to wait a while, but I promise it'll be worth it. For now, Zebra, we need to focus on finishing this here blueprint. And just like last time, it's up to you to place the final block of the Earthwood, slap, bang in the middle. All right, now we know a little bit more about how we're doing this, what we're doing, all that kind of stuff. Complete, very cool. I won't give up, Zebra, no matter what. Take this thing, we'll take this thing through together. Okay, well, 63% of the way done. If you want the new deity, we're going to have to, okay, wait, did I accidentally talk to you? I think so, okay. Uh, see, they are 99% of the way through. Over this way, they're still banging away, and that's fine with me, because now we just have to, uh, first off, get some of this stuff away. And we already have the block right here, Never mind. And then I'm gonna place it, uh, no, 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 I don't wanna ruin their thing. I can't place that here. Now I can. <laughs> Alrighty, perfect timing. We did it! Part two completed. High five. And there's still more we can do, of course. We all need to switch over to the Daffo Daisy seeds. Hello, well actually, let's talk to you first. I wanna get that dumb monkey back for what he did to Pastor out. Okay, hold on, talk to you. You placed a block of the earth, wouldn't finish the blueprint, haven't you? That's blimmin' brilliant. Now all we need to do is plant those daffodaisy seeds and charge the deity tree up with power, and then we can move on to the next stage. Doesn't it bother anyone else that the children of Argon haven't tried to stop us? They must have worked out what we're doing by now. It's what they always do. 
I've heard stories about that time long, long ago, before everyone began believing their lies. After they destroyed everything, the children of Hargon would always give people hope. Let us think we're all gonna turn out all right again. And just when victory was so close we could taste it, they'd destroy everything all over again and throw us into more despair than ever before. <laughs> That's actually pretty clever, I like it. But obviously they're an awful bunch and they just have to be stopped. Zebra, Malroth, I'm just as worried as you are about the children of Hargon, but we can't let that stop us. We have to focus on finishing the deity. So let's see, what do we have to do next? Oh yes, we have to pl find a place to plant the daff daffodaisy seeds. Probably the same spot. I think it would be nice to plant them around the block of the heartwood, just like you did with the milk blossoms. Go on, Zebra, plant four daffodaisy seeds in the grass around the heartwood. Alrighty, so, uh, if you would excuse me, thank you. Out of the way, Malroth. And boom, and we still have six left over of that as well. Awesome. And where did everybody go? There's not no not too many people seem to be hanging out now. Okay, there he is. Great. I'm coming to talk to you. Why are you over here? I don't know. Hey, buddy. Fine work there. The daffodaisies look almost as handsome as me. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I'm not a huge fan of flowers, to be honest. They seem kind of weak. Oh no, wait, this isn't this isn't weekly. I'm not a huge fan of flowers, to be honest. They seem kind of weak. They smell okay, though. Apparently, Furrowfield used to be carpeted with meadows that were completely full of flowers. Imagine how lovely it must have smelled then. <laughs> Once the deer tree's back in action and light and life returned to the island, we can plant our own fields of flowers. Then we won't have to imagine. Oh, won't that be cool? What is happening? Oh, I guess more of the grass is spreading or something. Did you see that? A flash of light just came out of the daffodaisies. Huh? Where did this breeze come from? It feels kind of nice. Oh, really? Maybe it's blowing away the ill wind. That'd be perfect. Well, it looks like it's expanding our uh, grass. It looks like it's basically have the entirety of Furrowfield Farm completed, which is cool. And everybody is super happy. Once again, the flowers you've planted have imbued the deity with power. It seems it has developed the strength to drive all away the ill wind somewhat. Whoa, the breeze coming off this tree is totally like firm but gentle. I feel so blessed right now. I can hardly believe it. We really built an old deity tree from scratch. Uh, this is brilliant. Aroo! <laughs> Yippee! Now all we have to do is build the very top of this tree and the deity tree will be complete. Can't believe it. All righty, well, we're making some good progress. If we're going to finish the deed tree, you'll need to draw the next blueprint, Zebra. Well, let's get to drawing it. This will be the third and final section, so go all out, uh, with, draw the biggest blueprint you can. All righty. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Weird angle. Here we go. So we're figuring out this third and final blueprint, as you can see. Ta-da! Awesome. Zebra draws out the Deity level three blueprint. And this one is going to have another 400 blocks, so it's really not too much more bigger. But yeah, 400 more blocks, that'll be awesome. Hello, everybody. Ah, <laughs> goodness gracious me, the third time really is the charm. What a terrific design. It looks fantastic, and what's more, once we finish this, the Deity will be finished too. We should still have plenty of materials in the chest, so all we have to do now is jolly well build the thing. Alrighty, and I've worked out what we need to do to fill the deity tree with as much power as possible. Do you remember what I said about needing to imbue it with the purified power of everything that blooms and bears fruit? Well, that must mean our five crops. If we can find a way to extract the vital essence of everything we've grown so far, we can charge the deity tree with more power than ever before. I'll tell you the ingredients that need to go into it. You just need to figure out a way to make it. Okay. Hmm. Ah, best of luck, my boy. For the rest of us, our mission is clear. We must finish building the deity tree. We also need to find the third flower for the thing. We're almost there, everyone. We just need to pull together and finish this final leg. For Farrowfield, I say. For Farrowfield! Yeah, everybody's happy. Okay, well, that's cool. Eureka, Zebra's new recipe. Oh, what is this, then? Water of life. A dewy drop derived from the leaf of life and variety and a variety of vegetables. How are we gonna make that? 
I don't know. Whoa. Okay, everybody's off. Uh, hey there. Hold on, can I go out of first person mode so I can see everything? Two things to do then, let's start to Bonanza. The end is finally inside, Zebra, and what's more, everyone here has the will and the energy to see our mission through. But there is one more thing that we don't, won't be able to handle on our own. Our new deer tree needs a mode of crystal clear water. After all, it's, it is a plant like any other, is it not? But the muddy water that has served us well so far isn't nearly good enough for something so holy. Wrigley tells me there is an underground spring beneath Furrowfield Bog where pure clean water flows. So there you have it, my boy. While we continue construction on the blueprint, you must seek out this spring. I shall mark the location on your map so that you can head to the straight there, gather up the water in that bottomless pot of yours and bring it right back. <laughs> if you have trouble, it might help to ask about uh, ask that tomato farming orc I've heard so much about. From what I have heard, it seems you would be lost without him. A new desti destination's been added to your map, very cool. I'm gonna talk to you. So, my handsome, it seems you've figured out how to make the water of life so you have. Whatever it is, it sounds girt impressive. I'm sure it'll change the deity tree up with no end of, of power. What one of the ingredients you'll need is a complete mystery to me. What in the world is a leaf of life? Whatever it is, I'm sure we'll find it soon enough. Uh, in the meantime, we should focus on finishing the blueprint. Well, there we, uh, well, well then, while we're doing that, how about you and Malroth go and find the last of the flower or seeds we need? Uh, head, e or head west from the bog and keep on heading west until you find a pillar of rock just jutting out of the sea. You can fly over to the last of the chromatic caves from there. I'd start by warping to the banks of the bog if I were you. I have a chat with the fat rat as uh, as lives there, as lives there while he might have some helpful hints for you. Okay, we're all counting on you, zebra. Please find the final set of flowers uh, we need. Okay, so we should be able to do that, no problem. Oh, this is super cool to see. Looks a lot different now. Um, but yeah, let's let's get to this then. So we had to go west, which. I guess this is west. I don't know about that. Well, this is the water of the Dia tree. Yeah, like west would be this way. So the banks of the bog. Oh yeah, I see it right here. Okay. So yeah, let's go ahead and do this now, I guess. I'm hoping this won't take too long just because of the fact that, you know, the other two didn't really take too long either. Oh, you guys are bouncing around. Uh, Sugarcane is green. Okay, they're still talking about that. I do wanna actually Talk to this fat rat, though. What are you doing at the bog, Squeak? I will tell you. Squeak, squeak, hello there, human. The sky is awfully ominous today, but there is just the tiniest hint of fresh air on the wind, like the, the shadow of a pleasant breeze. Maybe the time is coming to fulfill the covenant. In that case, Squeak, you'll need to travel west, human. Travel west and keep traveling west until you can, can go no farther, Squeak. Eventually, you'll reach the ocean. There's a sandbar leading around to the south to a great pillar of rock. If you climb that stack and jump from the top, you should be able to fly to the nearby island and find the seeds the human elder hid there. Squeak. And remember, human, we fat rats are behind the, you every step of the way. We didn't enter into that covenant lightly, Squeak. Alrighty. So will there be humans in this one? Because there were rats in one, there was bodkins in the other. It only makes sense that now this time we're gonna run into uh, humans. Guess we'll find out. That'll be weird, because every human we've met so far has been totally against builders. Okay, well, let's beat you up. Nice. And I do see a couple more guys we might want to build up as well. Or beat up, not build up. And we don't really get too much for it, that's why I just maybe want to focus on enemies like this. Oh, we swing extra slow in the water. Gonna make this a little bit more risky. Come on, help me out here. Oh gosh, the hand is behind us too. Come on, get him. That's it, get the crab claw which is what I wanted. So over this way, we did explore this area a little bit. As you can see, there's even an open chest. But there definitely seems to be more. Yeah, I remember going out this way. Gotcha. I turned around eventually when I saw this big guy, though. I was like, okay, that's enough of this area. Hmm. Well, I can beat him up a little bit now. I might as well, if he's here. Oh no. Oh, dodge it. Slice and dice him. Come on. We really gotta, ow, get him. Seriously, dude. This guy doesn't seem too big of a deal, so I might just get rid of him now. Yeah, he's one of the weaker kinds, so. Got it. And back over to you. Ah, I'm missing all of my shots. Seriously? Oh no. 
That's it, that's it. He's about to jump and move. That's it. We're fine, we're fine. Oh, he is getting super low now. He's about to jump. Ah! Didn't really time it very well. Okay, come on. This might be the last stretch of it right here. Uh, not quite, I'm gonna get hit a little bit. It's not that big of a deal. Got him. And we get 10 more sugar cane seeds for that. That's awesome. Always love being able to earn those up. I'm gonna ignore all of these guys, but this is where, huh. Am I just supposed to walk across then? Like I could swim. Yeah, I don't know, understand. We didn't really need the glider for this one at all. <laughs> okay, weird. Okay, well we could have gotten this one like super early. What is going on with all of this? Hard to really get up there though. Just trying to look around at my different options. I might just have to make my way up a little bit. Luckily the gloves make that so much easier. To be honest with you, so much easier. Just like that, oh gosh. We gotta be getting close. Okay, this is where I might start. At the least, I might start building my way up. Uh, where's my mud at? I should have still a lot of mud. I just don't know where it is. Uh, right here. So, yeah, let's just do this, because we don't really need to come back to this area. Can I move this? Thank you. I might just want to build out like that. There we go. Okay, going up. And here we are, okay. Wait a minute. Oh, maybe we're gliding from here. May the pink flowers of the covenant bring life to the land of life that lies on the far horizon. Oh. Okay, so this is where we gotta go. Let's do it then. I might as well like snag a fireplace, so. Um, no, no, wrong thing. Uh, free fireplace for me, even though I don't really need it. <laughs> Anyways, whoop, that's it. Awesome. And we should be able to get there. Well, this place is actually way bigger than I was expecting. It's like a giant volcano or something. And here we are. Very fancy island. Whoa, it's like a big cave. It really does feel like a volcano. What's going on down here? Whoa, spiders. More spiders, not spiders, I mean ants. You know. We, it's been a while since we fought these guys. I don't know what's with the camera. There we go, zoom out a little bit. Can't see nothing. And yeah, they're gonna call in all their little friends, which honestly take one hit to take care of, so it's not that big of a deal. Gotcha, 44 experience, so that'd be great if I wasn't at max level. Come on, come on, help me out here, Malroth. Keep swinging, dude. Got it. And that's all of them. So that wasn't too bad. Not too much over this way. Is this the water they were talking about? This looks pretty murky to me, so probably not. Let's go this way, then. Oh, more of them. Okay, let's slice. Ready? Oh, not too bad, actually. There we go, okay. Just slicing normally now, I think, will be fine. Because our health comes back pretty quick. Got him. It's hey, just this guy. Once we take care of the, the, the bigger ones, the other ones disappear, it seems. Or maybe not. If they don't, it's not that big of a deal. It's also great because they drop wheat seeds. Very useful to have, of course. And three more. I'm gonna get you. Oh, and they have more friends as well. Try to hit more than one at once is always good. Oh, ooh, that was really good. Maroth really swinging at him. Ready? Mm, that was good. Get rid of you. Run over this way. Get rid of your friend. Come on. That's it. That's it. Almost there. Okay, and then just two more over this way. You're the last one. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. I was trying to swing there, it just didn't work. Tons of wheat seeds though, for sure. And, wait, hold on, do we miss anything? Oh no, I just saw the little opening over here, I suppose. Seems to be exactly the same no matter what. Yep, okay. Whoa. So what is this? Oh, it's a goo. I took a vow, I never goo back at my word. Hold on, you're goomans, aren't you? What are you doing here? 
Oh, we're here to find the, the flower. You're a builder? You're going around Ferrofield looking for flower seeds to rebuild the deity? tree? Goo-wee. A gooman oozed to live here on this island, you know. She came here to protect the some flower seeds from the ill wind, but she died a long, long slime ago. Your poor goomans don't last very long compared to us monsters. Before she died, she asked me to wait here until the day another gooman came to collect the seeds a builder like you. Apparently, the people on the mainland think builders bring desolation and despair, but I think that's, I don't think that's true. I think they're goo. The flower seeds you're looking for are hidden behind this waterfall. Go ahead and take them. All right, I might also take some of this other stuff. Uh, I, I know. I was great friends with the gooman who oozed to guard these seeds. I took over her, for her, her, her work after she passed away. The seeds are hidden behind the waterfall over there. Please go ahead and take them. Okay. First off, I want to take, this looks nice. There we go, it's a column. Oh, can we take these blocks below too? Ah, not quite, they're too strong for a hammer. Hopefully we get like a stronger hammer sooner or later. What kind of blocks are these? I want these in my own town. I can break, it's a castle wall. Oh, so like eight of them together? Maybe make something like this? Something, because it gave me eight of them. That's very cool, actually. I want to take more of that later. Anyways, behind this waterfall, there it is. And as you can see, we get ourselves the pink seeds, Coralily, Coralily seed. Yeah, okay, very cool. All right, that's another set of seeds in the bag. Now we've we've found all three. Let's say thanks to the slime and get back. Oh, they get those bad boys back to the farm. So can we like swim up a waterfall? Oh, you bet we can. Anything of interest up here? Not looking like it, unfortunately. Okay, glide back down. We <laughs> very silly how that works. Hey, buddy. Goo work, builder. Those were the last flower seeds. You've collected all of the seeds from the covenant. And now that we've delivered the three sets of seeds to the new builder, the alliance's mission is finally complete. I'm not a bodkin or a fat rat or a gooman, I'm, but I'm still really happy that this day's come. There's a slime, there was a slime when Furrowfield didn't have a deity tree, but then the legendary builder came and made one for us. Ever since then, the island has been blessed with nature's bouncy. <laughs> it's in a bounty. Uh, he's turned it from a gooey, barren rock into nature lover's paradise. But over slime, everyone started to think that the deity tree that brought all those blessings to the island and the builder who built it were bad goos. <laughs> is it a bad news? Ironic, isn't it? Or if there, if it isn't ironic. It certainly isn't goo. Apparently the builder went on to another island after he'd finished building the deity tree. I wonder what kind of person he was. Was he even gooman? Who knows? Uh, yeah, anyways, there is that done. We are gonna go all the way back over to our furrowfield farm and complete the sowing seeds. I know, I know, I know. Uh, so we gotta go here. For sure, hopefully they can build the deity tree. That'll be a lot of fun. Well, that actually might be something I leave for next episode. I'm glad we were able to find all the seeds today, though. That was good to me. Um, so where is, yep, here you are. Welcome back. I've, I've seen, or I see you've got some corally there, seeds there. And now we found all three types of flowers. I always knew builders brought hope and happiness wherever they go. It was like that with the original builder, and it's the same with you. Uh, Builders don't bring desolation and despair. That was just a lie cooked up by the children of Hargon. If anyone spreads despair around here, it's them. Still, something about the whole de situation doesn't make sense. Why was everyone around here so eager to believe a lie like that? Till the builder came here and built the original Dia tree, there weren't nothing on this island at all. The people didn't have no luxuries, that's for sure, but they lived humble, peaceful lives, but after the Dia tree was built, the humans changed. Oh, I think I've heard this story. Everybody started fighting about who got the, the to use the best farmland and what they should go, grow where. The old peace and quiet replaced by fear and loathing. That's why the children of Hargon destroyed the deity and issued their proclamation. That the builder who made the deity was a being of evil who brought desolation and despair to the island. Well, that's a pretty stupid way of looking at it. When the deity died, nobody forced them to lose hope. It was their choice to, to give up. Rosie, Perry, and even the bearded one, wonder here, you all picked yourselves up. You even learned to love building. Bad things are going to happen in life, that's just the way it is, but it's how you react to them that matters, right? Right, exactly. Maroth, I... 
I think so too. Come on, Zebra, the new tree's almost finished. Let's finish the blueprint and plant the flowers you found. All righty, so we got all three of the flower seeds and we're gonna be planting and hopefully completing the new tree in the next episode. Actually, it's almost done. Hold on, well, let's just finish it now. It's at 99%. I might as well do it now. <laughs> Sorry, I thought we were a little bit farther off. Okay, so go all the way up here. Let's just get it done now. They are so close to being done. Where is it gonna be placed? It's gonna be placed right over here. I feel like I should help to some degree. So they only yeah, they have five more blocks to place. All right, well, I'm waiting out for you guys. Uh, goodbye. Did you just like, are you okay? You climbed all the way to the top here just to jump off and lost half of his health. Come on, 99%. It's still at 1562. Oh, are these mine? Do I have to do these? I think so. One, two, three, Four, and then over this way? Where's the last one go? No, it goes over there. Huh, or no, that's just a piece of, there you go! See if it completes the DG level three blueprint, awesome! All right, well, there we go. Now we know what to do, we just need to put the seeds right there. Uh, we, we do get, how many of them do we get? Where is it? It's over here. So let me take that out and put it over that, sure. Let's talk to you as well. Now that the blocks of Earthwood are in place, the blueprint's good and finished. I can hardly believe it. It wasn't long ago I was fixated on destroying anything I could, and now I've upgraded something so wondrous. It's been a long journey for all of us, but the Earth is with the the, the Earth. The end is within sight. The D tree is oh so nearly complete. Woof woof rough. It just needs one last finishing touch. Zebra, would you do the honors and plant four coral lily seeds between the blocks of heartwood? Yeah, sure. Okay, so. Between the blocks of heartwood, we need to go in first person for right now at the least. Everybody's trying to take a nap. It's morning. So sorry, you spent the night building. There you go, awesome. And look at that, the Coroli seeds are built up. And now I'm just waiting for you again. Thank you, Zebra, thank you so much. The Coralilies have bloomed and they smell girt lush. That's the third and final type of flower planted. Does that mean that our new Dia tree is finished? Yes, we've finally done it. I can't tell you how long I've dreamed about this day. <laughs> I'm happy for you, Rosie. I thought you'd have thrown in the towel ages ago. I'd never give up on this, Malroth. After all, I've always dreamt of returning life to the island. And besides, didn't Pastor Al tell us not to give up on our dreams? You certainly like that word, don't you? It's always dreams this and dreams that with you. Whatever the case, we got there. We got there in the end, didn't we? We started with nothing and now we've got an all new deity. tree. All right, well we completed it. Very cool. So now what do we have to do? I mean, we're still at 96%. Um, let's hurry up, everybody's gonna go get food. Alrighty, well then the deity tree is completed. I feel like something more fancy should have happened because something fancy happened the first two times. That's weird. Did I like not do it correctly? You can plant another one. I can't place that here. Never mind. Um, so I guess we'll just leave it at that for now. The D tree is now finished. It took a lot of hard work, but it was a lot of fun as well. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Dragon Quest Builders 2. Before you go, be sure to comment Zebra Seeds so now you've watched at the end of the URA Zebra Tastic Viewer. Also, subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.